Hey everyone, this is Salamander Anagram with ReactorTutorials.com and today I'm going to do a quick follow-up tutorial on a video I did a few weeks ago about using Reactor as a FX insert inside of a DAW. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have close to 10 hours worth of Reactor content up there for free already. Uh, not to mention tons of other stuff. All right, so let's get started. So previously, I did a tutorial on linking together several reactor instruments inside of a single ensemble to use as a sort of multi-FX unit in Ableton Live. And I got back a few questions about how you could go about adding a dry-wet knob to each of the individual instruments to get a finer tuning over the sound control. And of course, um, most well-designed effects will have a dry wet knob built into the structure uh, as a matter of course, but sometimes this will be omitted. So I'll do a quick example of how to add a dry wet knob to your ensemble. To start out, I'm going to delete the default instrument that comes with a new ensemble and add an instrument. Um, Banan Electric is one I used in the previous tutorials that, as far as I can tell, doesn't have an overall dry-wet knob anywhere in its structure. So we'll use that as an example. So I've loaded up a simple loop from a sample library into our reactor file player. Now I'll just choose a preset from Banana Electric. <clears throat> okay, so let's jump back to the structure view. Go inside the instrument view. And the first thing we want to do is to create a macro that is going to accept both the input to the instrument and the output of the instrument uh, as inputs to our macro. So I'll take the signal from the left input and uh, rename it dry left. And I'll take another signal from the left output of the instrument and rename it wet left and hop inside the macro. We can use a simple crossfader module, which you'll find in the signal path menu. And simply connect the dry input to the zero and the wet input to the one. Right click on the X and click on the create control command. Uh, by default, this creates a vertical fader. You can switch it to a knob by uh, in the style section in the view menu of properties. And then we can simply connect the output from the crossfader to the output of our macro and run the output of our macro to the output of the instrument. And we can duplicate this structure for the right side. So again, we'll simply use the uh, right input and right outputs to feed our ma macro. Okay, so this method is simple enough. It's not the greatest, however, because as you'll notice when we jump to the panel view, we end up with two knobs controlling the wetness of the signal. One for the left channel and one for the right channel and presumably you're probably going to want these to be the same in almost all cases so what we can do is we can actually use one of the knobs to control the position of the other and to do that we'll use a part of reactor called internal connections and so to make this happen, the first thing we want to do is select one of the knobs. And since they're both identical, it doesn't really matter which one. 
And in the properties, we're going to go over to the Connect tab. And inside the Connect tab, we have this box named Internal Connections. So first, we'll set our chosen knob to be the controller. And then we'll select the second knob and choose that to be the controlled. And when we finish making the connection, you'll see that this little line saying from wet appears, and that just tells us that this knob is being controlled by another panel element. All right, so let's hop back to the panel view and make sure this works. And you see when we tr turn one knob, the other one turns along with it. So we can set the controlled knob to be invisible so it doesn't take up panel space. All right, thanks you guys for watching. Um, if you like this tutorial, please check out our website, reactortutorials.com as well. Uh, I have a lot of written tutorials there where I'm able to get a lot more in-depth about certain subjects and a series of beginner's tutorials as well. All right, have a good week.